it could blow. Seriously? <laughs> You're so gullible, Quill. It ain't gonna blow. I mean, its core is definitely volatile as scut, and could melt a hole through the floor if an idiot decided to take it apart. But it's practically harmless. Just needs some extra repulsion coils to manage the flaw in the photonic phase capacitor. But will it damage the ship? Eh, probably not. You really go bananas for this stuff, don't you? What the flark is a banana? It's this yellow fruit on Earth that looks like a... Never mind. The point is, you're clearly obsessed with this stuff. Hey, I ain't obsessed. Tech just makes sense, okay? There's order to it. Makes me feel calm. That and it doesn't rip you off like some filthy biologicals I've known. How are you not obsessed with tech? Look at this place. Your room is... Wow, I mean... Wow. What's wrong with my room? You don't even have a bed. I got a bed. It's buried under junk. I prefer to call it a soft shelf. I just don't know how any of this could make you feel calm. I feel stressed just looking at it, and that's coming from me. If Groot didn't do the laundry, I'd probably never have clean clothes. Like I said, tech makes sense. Why do you care so much? I don't know. Because you're such a perfectionist. I ain't a perfectionist. The lead scientist on Half-World, Rakmar, he... Oh, he was a perfectionist. A horrible freebag and scut and flark flark and son of a chog! What did he do to you? Oh, what any self-disrespecting scientist does? Started a super soldier program! Except instead of using one of their precious blue skins, they decided to experiment on us. Animals. Lesser life forms. But it wasn't enough that he ripped us apart and jammed us full of cybernetic implants. Oh no. He'd make us perform tasks over and over and over. Oh, like lab rats. And if we flarked up, if it wasn't exactly right, or up to his flarkin' standards, he'd shock us into unconsciousness. Holy crap. Rocket, I... It is what it is, Quill. Groot says fixing stuff is my way to make the memory of that stressed feeling go away. Make me feel in control again when I get overwhelmed. I don't know. He's probably right. <laughs> you got grifted. Laugh it up, star pants. <clears throat> I mean, that's terrible. Who was it? A chick. Really? I didn't even know you liked girls. She wasn't just any girl. She was a chick. One of them Voldai. Bird people. Mm-hmm. She, uh, she sounds super special. Her name was Tella. And she wasn't just special. She made me feel special. Like I wasn't some freak show science experiment. She bought me a drink. She didn't even flinch at my implants. I just escaped Half-World and I fell for her. Hard. We've all been there, buddy. Half the girls I've dated have tried to kill me. You should see the scars. Except I didn't know no better. I thought Tella was my friend. And then one day, she convinces me to hack a ship for her. You know, kid stuff. Wasn't even nothing in it for me, I just wanted to impress her. <laughs> yep. Definitely been there. Reminds me of this one time with Vralnexian. We, uh... You mind? Anyways, I hacked the ship, all right. I hacked it to Scut. The next thing I know, I'm surrounded by a bunch of Badoon thugs. Turns out they owned the ship. While they focused on me, she took off in the ship that I hacked for her. She left me there, Quill. Like I was trash. <sighs> That's the day I learned to think twice before trusting biologicals. They're not all like Root. Root really is the first one to treat you right, isn't he? He's my family. You're lucky to have found each other. Especially after... Everything. And then some. I hope you'll see us as family one day, too.